start of the video. Bosh, bosh. Let's get into it. So this video is going to be about insomnia, my thoughts. So mainly with insomnia, I think it's um, predominantly lifestyle factors. I mean, in rare, rare cases, I think it's going to be genetics, but um, family history. But other than that, it's going to be predominantly lifestyle factors, I think. Um, so things like the drugs people are taking, um, the diet people are consuming, the amount of hours people are doing at work, uh, maybe like people doing night shifts, you know, all kinds of stuff. Um, the caffeine, again, you know, all these all these things that contribute to it. There's, there's so much more I'm not, I've not even listed that I can't think of off the top of my head, but I, I do think now, and it's the same thing, this is in relation with um, uh, a lot of people's prob um, issues with um, like ADHD, um, even I may possibly have um, epilepsy, like even things like that, you know, we know things like that, are, a lot of things, diseases we know, uh, um, diet related, or, or no, not just diseases, but some kids sometimes med medical conditions, we, we know it's definitely uh, diet related, whether it's too much uh, carbohydrate and all sorts of things. All sorts of things, you know. I'm not saying carbohydrate is bad because we, we need those, but um, definitely I do think lifestyle factors contribute because I didn't hear any, like, I've not had any stories about any toddlers or anything like that. Or younger people, less than, let's say around 10, well, like, you know what I mean, when people are at school, I didn't hear anything about anybody um, not sleeping for much or anything like that. I never heard anything about in, insomnia or anything like that. But yeah, it is a real, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll admit, it's a real thing, but I do think it's um, predominantly lifestyle factors, that's what I wanted to say. That, that's the best way to put it, yeah. So I don't think it's, this is some 70s Japanese music. Jazz, this is a jazz mix. Yeah, um, yeah, anyway, so I think it's predominantly that. And that's the same with, with, with a lot of people's, um, Issues now. I mean, because I, I, like I said, even my my grand speaking to my grandma. Um, when was it? The last time I had a detailed com. I've obviously spoke to my grandma since then, but I think it was last year when we were talking about strokes. And even and even she admitted because uh, in her time there was no none of these like health problems and all that, that people are getting now, like strokes and stuff like that. I mean, in Nigeria back in the day, that's unheard of. You know, the stroke is unheard of. But now you can't. You can't deny that, and I'm not even a doctor or scientist, but you can't deny that the health problems are on the rise, and it's definitely um, diet and lifestyle related. Of course, so, so you've got some rare cases that are genetic components and, and all sorts of things, but predominantly lifestyle facts. That's the main thing I want to say. But the main thing I wanted to say, well, sorry, the other thing I've got to add before I close this video is that all drugs have side effects, so if you're thinking about it, always think that. And there's going to be a price to pay. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.